Hey, how you guys doing? I'm the Anime, and welcome back to my channel today. And, well, at least for me, the next couple of days, I am going to be in Orlando, Florida today. And it is a very gloomy, kind of rainy type of day. Um, I am in Orlando, Florida, again, for Megacon 2022. Um, the C Megacon and um, see the Atasha cars as well, um, which I've actually already seen them. Um, I was here on Thursday. I got to see at the tail end. I already did some damage too. I already bought some stuff. So unlike last year, um, I only got to be here for around like on Friday near the near the tail end of the convention. But now I'm actually here a little bit longer I was able to get here on Thursday so I was able to check in get my badge right here as you can see um, nice and early so I wouldn't have to wait on the line this morning all right so as I said before I am here for all four days I was here on Thursday which um, I didn't really get to see a lot of the convention but I got to see a little bit near the tail end because I got here so late and I'm going today today is Friday and then Saturday and Sunday I will be there at the convention center all four days which is really cool really cool so why am I here a little bit longer than I was last year well there's a big reason for that and the reason I'm here a little bit longer is because um, I kind of want a little bit more time to I kind of myself will also you know kind of enjoy the convention just a little bit more um, let's get around this corner here but yeah I just kind of wanted to enjoy this convention just a little bit more than I did last year um, also on top of that me being here longer gives me more time to actually film all right brz with an interesting exhaust very nice <laughs> um but yeah i just want a little bit more time to you know record video like right now the video that you guys are watching right now is sort of a, like a pov of me walking around the convention I almost want to call it a vlog even though you don't even see my face but you know that's basically what it is and I kind of want some time to you know be able to record and show you guys the convention but um you know like I said this just gives me a little bit more time to do so and also gives me a little bit more time to also record another video properly which will be the cinematic video that I'll be doing for the Tasha vehicles and even some of the stuff inside of the convention so yeah yeah that's why I'm here for a little bit longer than um, I was last year and I think this will work out all right so I was able to get some parking unfortunately not in the place I would have wanted to park if you guys remember this from last year the good old safari ride to get a parking space over on this side of the convention but I was lucky though it is a spot and I was able to get one so yeah and it's ten dollars last year it was twenty dollars for all the OGs who um watched my original 2019 Megacon video um you would notice when you watch that video which is unfortunately all cop all cut and screwed up thanks to uh, YouTube's copyright system um, you know I actually shot the video right here and just a simple zoom in from this position right here this is the position that I did it from right from this side and um, also um, if I forgot to mention they're doing the convention on this side of the uh, convention center instead of the other side like last year the last year was over there this year was right here so yeah this is where I uh, took a video of the uh, 2019 um, Megacon meet that's that first shot that you guys saw um, I'm not exactly in the same spot because there are some people sitting right there so I'm not gonna be able to get the 100% same exact shot that I got last year but still this is the spot so if you're wondering where I got that shot in the 2019 Megacon video I got it from right here yep 
All right, so we're gonna start all the way down on the end here now. Again, if you guys don't know my policy when I do record these cars, um, just gonna let you guys know right now. So, there are comic book cars here and there are Itasha vehicles here. When I do cinematics, all cars are going to be in the cinematic. However, when it comes to the separate videos of which car gets its own separate video, um, the Itasha cards are the only cards that will be getting their own separate videos, not the comic book cards. And why is that? Because, again, as I've said before, the Itasha vehicles is what I want to truly focus. I'm not hating on the comic book cars or anything like that, but it's just the direction I want my channel to go in, and I want to show nothing but Itasha vehicles. So that's why the Itasha vehicles are now the only vehicles that actually get their own personal video. So let's see, we got a Nightwing Toyota Corolla. Very nice. I've seen this I've seen this car before multiple times at a couple of conventions. Pretty nice car. Uh, again, you know, comic book cars, you know, not really my most favorite thing in the world, but the car is done nicely though. It is done nicely. And then, of course, you guys have seen this one before. The reincarnated as a slime Kia Forte Coupe. I actually know the guy. He's a really cool dude. Um, and if you did notice, if you've been keeping up with my videos, uh, he actually updated his car and put a lip on the front or splitter. So, yeah. Kind of adds some more detail to the car. Again, though, the car looks as good as always. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, actually display up next to this guy at some point in time with my forte. But uh, for right now, though, um, yeah, he'll be uh, taking the show for a while. So, we got another one over here, a Toyota Corolla. Um, oh, wow, again. This is, uh, okay, so this is not Nightwing. This is actually Robo. That's interesting. That's actually very interesting. Take a look at it. Oh, I'm liking those wheels. Very nice. Always like the old Corollas. Gotham Knights. Really nice. Okay, so this one. This one's new. I've never seen this before. This is a Honda Civic. Uh, is this an SI? Hold up. Is this an SI? Does the SI usually come with that big black grill? I know I see the SI logo right there, but does it really come with the big black uh, grill. Let me know down in the comment section. I'm not familiar with Hondas like that. So. It still looks nice. Look at that. This thing must be on bags. Yeah, this thing is definitely, definitely on bags. Interior. The very nice bucket seats. And this thing is manual. So, this could be the SI. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. I can see the, uh, the SI logo right there back looking clean up oh, there goes the air pump right there it's kind of crazy pretty nice very nice pretty interesting car though um you know but again you know I'm all about the uh, the white foods though which um, I I never had I don't have a problem with um showing in type of Vitashes but I'm more of a wifey type of guy you know all right so speaking of which we have Probably the most craziest waifu next to you know Gasai got Toga from My Hero Academia. Now, here's something funny. I've never actually watched My Hero Academia. Um, purely because, again, it is a, um, a shonen anime. And you know how I am about shonen animes, you know? I, I just... Shonen animes just don't get me going. I try, but it, it just doesn't work. Despite me not watching My Hero Academia, I've actually liked this character very much. I don't know why, but I got a big thing for this character. And I know everything she does, but I've never even watched My Hero Academia. So, it's kind of crazy how that is. But, yeah, pretty nice. The wheels look pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, man, got all the stickers. All across the back. Ooh. You can see uh, Marin Kitagawa. Very nice. 
I'm not 100% familiar with this character. I know for a fact this is a English Hollow Live VTuber. Um, I've actually never heard of her name. Honestly, I have not heard of her name. I've heard of Garagura. Gar I've heard of the other VTuber. Um, she kind of looks like Sherlock Holmes sometimes. I don't know her name. Um, but um, I'm not very familiar with um, Hollow Live English VTubers. It's just just really not my thing. Um, I'm more into the Japanese VTubers, and even then, um, I don't really check out VTubers as much as I used to during 2020. But anyways, they're looking very nice on the Chevy Camaro. Not bad, rocking the wheels too. Holy crap, that looks real nice. So yeah, I gotta say though, the color is um, actually very interesting. And the wrap that they put on this car is actually very interesting as well. The color combination is strange. Very strange, but not bad though. Not bad. It, it kind of works. I don't know why, but it just it just kind of works. Mini Cooper. Um, this is, I believe, a Star Wars car? Um, I saw it last year at um, MegaCon last year. I'm not very familiar with um, the Star Wars, but um, it's a pretty decent car. Not bad looking. Okay, here we go. Um, I see a bunch of characters. I think this was actually painted on. Yeah, it's like, it looks like it was uh, painted. And in fact, the whole side of this car is painted. Wow. That's pretty crazy. So um, I actually did get to see this at night, and unfortunately, I don't think you guys will be able to see this. These right here, they actually glow in the dark. Um, this is where the, I am assuming where the license plate used to go, and he's probably using the license plate lights to make those things light up. Um, the name slips from me right now, but I think you know the character from Demon Slayer. Um, yeah, his eyes right in the back here, they kind of light up at night, so it's kind of cool. We got a Toyota, um, Toyota pickup. I never actually knew the name of these. What is the actual name of it? If it's back here, it is not. Well, I know for 100% fact it is a Toyota with Star Wars on it. Um, let me see here now. I'm gonna try to pick up all 10% of the knowledge that I know of Star Wars, but I'm going to assume right here these characters uh, this character right next to this chick right here uh, are from Clone Wars. Now, that's just a very, very, very educated guess. I do not know. I do not know at all. Again, Star Wars is just not my forte. It's just not. But, um, yeah, this is definitely a wrap. It seems okay. It seems pretty decent. A Dodge Challenger. Um... I don't know what this is exactly. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Um, has a Panther on the side. Um, has a kind of NASCAR number tag on the side as well. Used to watch NASCAR back in the day. Don't really care for it right now. They took my boy Jeff Gordon out, so that kind of sucks. But um, it's pretty interesting. Look at the interior though. Very nice. Um, but again, I don't know the uh, significance of this car, what type of like car this is, like anime or even sci-fi, so I'm not very familiar with it, unfortunately. Um, what else we got here? Uh, we have a Spider-Man. Is this F-150? Four-door F-150. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, um, it's not really my cup of tea. Um, Iron Man on the other side. Okay, so you got Spider Man on one side on the left, and you got Iron Man on the right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Interesting wheels. Um, ooh, look. I just now noticed this. I just noticed that. The helmets are right there on the top. Pretty nice. That's cool. Nissan Skyline. Pretty cool if you guys don't know. Um, I think this is called the Infinity G35 over here in the States, but they call it a Nissan Skyline over 
in Japan because they kind of spooled up the, uh, the Skyline and the GTR brand and made the Skyline and the GTR its own thing. And uh, well, this is the Skyline, and well, it's just a Infinity G35. Um, has um, let me see the theme here. The theme is Futurama. Okay, that's a that's an interesting theme. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, Nissan Sentra Nismo. This is a very, very, very rare car. You're never gonna see these. These are like. These are crazy, crazy rare, and it's a shame, because these are actually like really, really good cars, but a lot of people actually don't know m much about them and don't care enough about them, so um, it does suck. But um, yeah, I think you guys have seen this car multiple times, uh, um, but yeah, he is actually rocking different wheels since the last time I saw this car. Um, but yeah, if you don't know, the uh, character is actually Hatsune Miku. Um, had to ask the owner that one time, and um, didn't know, didn't know because of the uh, the hair color change. Which, and again, I should know better since Miku has multiple hair colors all the time. But yeah, pretty cool Nissan Sentry here. Again, the Nismo version, very nice car. All right, so you guys have seen this car multiple times. In fact, I think you, if you're an OG, you've seen this vehicle in the very old 2019 Megacon video that I did. But yeah, you guys have seen this uh, Kia Soul multiple times uh, in Georgia, at Megacon 2019, Megacon 2021, and this year, Megacon 2022. This car is almost at every single Megacon. It's uh, kind of crazy. I don't know what this car is. And it's still kind of, kind of just, I don't know, what is this, like a Geo or something? I've never seen this car before. Let me look at the back. Maybe it might have the symbol on the back. No, it does not. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I'm sorry, I don't know what this is. I do know it is a uh, Star Wars type of theme, so that's good. But yeah, yeah, that's all of the cars out here. There actually are some Itasha vehicles inside too. So, um, I'll go inside and try to show you guys that. And, um, hopefully it won't rain out here, too, because I am thinking of actually doing my cinematics today. So, I don't know. Hopefully it's not a repeat like last year. Last year on Saturday, of uh, if you actually watch the, uh, the Megacon, Itasha, and Aftermeet video, uh, you'd know that it was raining. So the storm sound effects that you heard in there, yeah, those were not effects. That was actual thunder, okay? That was actual thunder and lightning that I was shooting in. And on top of that rain, it was miserable, it was horrible, but I did it anyway. And um, it came out okay. It came out okay, but yeah. For right now though, I am going to leave this. I'm gonna go inside and see what I can show you guys. Hopefully it is not crowded and too loud that you will not be able to hear my voice. Hopefully. Alright, so this is the Atasha I was telling you guys about. There are a couple more in here, I think. Um, I've never seen this Itasha before. See, I don't know why it's inside instead of outside. Um, really don't know right now, but it's a Kia Stinger. And these things are hot right now. I know a lot of people hate on Kia and stuff like that, but these are um, actually pretty good cars. Actually really good. Look at the back. These wheels go. Nice. Um, don't know who the character is. Um, I've never seen this character before in my life. Still good. Some real quality stuff. Alright, let's see what else I can find in here.
All right, so as expected, um, I had to mute the audio and just show you what I could see inside of the convention because it really was just that loud. And it wasn't even that busy, but I don't think you would have been able to hear my voice over the large crowd in that place anyway. So, yeah, yeah so far it was a, um, it was a really good um, convention. Also, unfortunately, I was not able to uh, record any of the cars today. Uh, weather is just really, really, really crazy right now. I sure hope it's not like that on Saturday or even Sunday. So yeah, it is a little bit unfortunate. And right now, weather is still not really that good to be shooting at the moment. I don't think I want to be shooting in this weather. Um, as nice as it looks right now, because it really, the rain has kind of stopped, so, you know, you would think it'd be a good time to do it, but unfortunately it's not, so, I'm gonna hold out for tomorrow, and hopefully, uh, the weather will, um, cooperate, and you'll be able to see these cars, uh, either during the day or at night, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a night shoot or a day shoot of these cars out here um it really all depends i guess i don't know but anyways um i enjoyed this time at the convention to be able to just go around the convention without having to like worry about filming anything or stuff like that even got myself some good merch right here got some maring kitagawa uh fan art as well as nagato fan art as well but yeah oh wow i know I don't know if you just saw the lightning, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not recording in this, so, yeah, it does kind of suck, but, yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna end the video here, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, make sure to leave a like, and, um, yeah, that's all the time I have for today in this video, I'll see you guys in my next one, and hope you guys enjoy the cinematic video that I come out with whenever the heck that does come out, so yeah, later.